Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a swimming suit. So I'm going to make a top and bottom. Um, here's a picture of what I'm making right here. And let's start out cutting out. Alright, so we have our fabric. I'm doing one side this matte purple and the other side ribbed. Um, first we are going to grab our patterns and I have those right here. Um, we need one back piece. So you can also just trace um, a pair of underwear that you like or a pair of bottoms that you already have. Um, I already have mine made. So we have the first part of the bottoms cut out and now we need to cut the top piece. So we need two of these pieces right here. Right. So we have our four pieces. And now we're gonna cut them all out in ribbed. Now we have to cut out the straps and we're gonna do the straps. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do one by 36. And we're gonna make three of those. Now I'm gonna clean up my mess and set up my sewing machine. Okay, so I use a serger, not a regular um, sewing machine, um, just because the stitches are more professional uh, and more durable, but if you do use a sewing machine, which you probably will be using, um, just use the exact stitch and it'll do just fine. Um, with a, uh, a ballpoint uh, needle. Um, so this needle can be for just like stretchy fabric or knit. Um, that's the needle that work, will work best. Otherwise, you're going to have a lot of issues and it's going to be pretty frustrating if you don't have the right needle. So let's get into it and we're going to first start. Alright, so we have our bottoms cut out. Here's the front and here's the back. So what we're going to do, um, let me see if I can show you guys right here. So we're going to start out with both ribbed uh, pieces and we're going to put right sides together so it's both of the rib sides together and we're going to sew along here at the bottom and the side so then you'll see what it'll look like and it'll make a little more sense. So we have the like idea of the swimming suit bottoms and this is what it's supposed to look like. Wrong sides together with the seam, that way you can flip it like this and all of, you can't see the seams on the right sides. Just like that. So we're gonna do that on the other piece 
And how I usually do these ones, because there isn't really a right and wrong side, I kind of like fill it like up to my face and fill whatever side is softer. And then whatever side is softer, I make that the right side. So now this one is done and what we're gonna do is we want this side to be a uh, um, the like our favorite side um, so we are going to put this on the outside and we're gonna flip this just like this with our right side out and we're gonna put it inside that way right sides are touching each other So you can see right here, right sides are touching each other and you just want to make sure everything is lined up and mine is. Okay, now we're going to put it down and we're going to just sew the first part. And, oh. okay, now we're going to put it down and sew the first part and using rubber elastic to give it a little more shape and make it more durable and stretchy. So this is the rubber elastic. I just use one quarter inch elastic. Um, it's not braided elastic. You could probably use braided elastic, but I choose to use rubber elastic. It's just more durable. And it can resist salt water and chlorine a lot better. All right, so we're gonna start this out by putting the elastic on there and just sew along the edges. And we just want to give it a little bit of tension. make sure that elastic is all on the same side but now we are going to move into the burrito method so you see how it's like this if we turn it inside out and we do all the sides like this it is not gonna look good and it will not look like a swimming suit when we pull all um, the right side out so what we want to do is grab both pieces like this open it up and fold it over just like that that way you are putting you're making an outside and inside and you're gonna sew both outside pieces together. Just like that. So again, you're just gonna grab it, pull everything out just like this. You can see that. We're gonna get both of these pieces. We're gonna grab a matte piece and a ribbed piece and put them together just like that. Bam. And it's called the burrito method and we're putting the other pieces on the inside and we'll pull them out as we go. And we're just gonna start up here again. here how it looks like this that's okay because I'll show you when we pull it right side out it looks like this and it looks like bo bikini bottom so you'll be good all right now we're gonna pull this back through again and do the same thing just like this fold over like that and it's gonna be the burrito method again this can be frustrating, but if you need more information on how to make bottoms, you can go over to Edgewater Avenue, another YouTube channel, and she shows how to make a ton of different swimming suits. 
So you can go look over there if you want some uh, more detailed information. close this side but we um, will close this other side but make sure to leave about a quarter inch hole on either side on both sides and now we're going to do the other one. Alright, now we are going to pull it through just through this end hole right here. the other one but first I am going to sew our straps and we're gonna do right sides together which is gonna be the rib side and then just sew our straps and then we'll pull them through for like three dollars uh i think they're just like strap turners i don't really know what they're called i just got mine on amazon i think i got three for nine dollars you can get them at joanne's for like three dollars and you can use a fifth like the discount codes and make them cheaper so just like that we're gonna do that to all of our straps You can see the seam right there. 
and we're gonna do that on the other one. straps the same length All right. and so our longer strap will go on the bottom and the two shorter straps will go on top we're gonna stick our little handy dandy tool through the hole because we're all done all right guys so this is the bottoms they're full coverage bottoms reversible with ribbed and matte and then this is the top this is a scrunch top on my website you can actually purchase both of these items on my website um but there you guys go all right guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope you enjoyed making this swimming suit with me and um please like and subscribe to this video and share it with all your friends who would be interested in making their own swimwear um and this swimsuit is also available on my website and make sure to go check that out. Thank you guys. See you later.